Hey Cloud Perceptor fam, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving deep into something that's been making waves in the world of AI, that is Batrock Agents. These are the foundational AI tools that are changing how automation works across industries. In this video, I'm going to break down what Batrock Agents are, why they are a game changer and how they are being used to make the smart decisions in real time. Whether you are an AI enthusiastic or just curious about the latest tech, you are in the right place. So now let's get started and uncover the power of Bedrock Agents. So here is what the high level explanation of the Bedrock Agent so starting with the purpose, so Badrock Agent is an AI-driven virtual assistant okay, that is designed to perform tasks that are based on user prompts. It acts autonomously to execute commands, provide information or facilitate interactions that are based on inputs. Coming to the functionality part, so it can manage conversations, receive data and interact with other AWS services or APIs to perform actions as specified by the user. Okay, so I will now discuss with the use case. So it is suitable for creating autonomous agents that can handle customer inquiries, automate workflows or provide real time assistance. So here is the architecture that we are going to design. Okay, so uh, this is the user. User is going to interact with Bedrock Agent. Okay, we will be using a use case for Liu booking. Okay, which is which is just think of it as a Liu management service. Okay, where employee request for a Liu. Oh, sorry will request for a leave okay first of all he will check the available leaves next he will be booking leaves okay so here as you can see we are we will be using the lambda function which is going to be hooked up with the action group okay and we'll be using sqlite database in order to retrieve the uh, data from the database along with that when somebody is going to apply for leave Okay, we will be writing it to the DB. So that's all for the high level architecture. Now let's build this up in AWS. So yeah, uh, here I have my Jupyter Notebook. I've installed Anaconda on my local system and <coughs> I'm using my access keys to connect to AWS, right? So, as a step one, we'll be installing required libraries. We are using Boto Care, Boto 3, and AWS CLI. All right, so let's run this. Let's wait for a while. As you can see, it is still running. It may throw up some uh, dependency conflicts, but it should be fine. Next, we'll be importing necessary uh, libraries. Okay, Porto 3, JSON, time, zip file. Zip file will, will be requiring to zip our Lambda function and upload it to AWS. Bytes ID, these all things will be required, all right? And we are also printing the Porto 3 version. I'll run this, 1.3.45. For logging purpose, I'm setting up the logger over here. Okay, so we'll run it. Next, setting up the Porto 3 clients for required AWS services. Okay, so we are using STS, IAM, Lambda, Bedrock Agent Client, and Bedrock Agent Runtime Client. Setting up the session. Okay, so So as you can see, we are creating the new 
configuration variables over here to initialize the variables. Okay. Now the time is to create lambda function, but before that we need to create database. Okay. So I have created a database called employee database DB. Wherein I am creating employee table, vacations, planned vacations. So these are the tables I am creating. Okay. So I will be running this up to quickly start up the database. Okay, it's already done. Next. We will be creating our lambda function now. So as you know from the architecture diagram that I have shared earlier, we have two functions, get available leaves and book leaves. So book leaves is a function, it's a, oh sorry, it's a method which is going to insert in the database and this one is going to read from the database. All right, so I'm quickly running it. Run. It is stating that it is overwriting because I have already ran this process before. In your case, it's going to print a different message. Okay. Time to hook up roles. Okay. Now uh, it's time to upload this function. Okay. In the next step, we are going to create our agent. Okay. So as you know, we are now working on creating our agent. We have completed this step, which you see for uh, for creating the lambda function. Okay. So I'll quickly mark. So we already completed this step. The SQL data light database is also uh, populated now. Now it's time to create our Lambda function. Okay. Uh, sorry, our agents and agent group. Okay. So, it's TBD to be done. And it's completed. All right. So for testing purpose, I am allowing all the permissions of Bedrock, but you can be more restrictive over here. Okay. We are assuming the role now. This is going to create the agent. The process is still running. Let, let it complete. So yeah, we have the uh, response. Okay, so the agent has been successfully created now. It's time to print the response. Next is time to create the agent group. So the agent group will be having a link with the Lambda function. The process is still running. I usually let the process to complete. I don't uh, run other. Let's run it in a sequential manner. All right, it's completed. Time to execute the next function. It's preparing the agent now. Invoke. Here we are going to invoke the agent. So I am just asking how many vacation does employee one have available? Okay. 
just wait for a while it's gonna connect to LLM and bring out the response so this is our test function We'll be printing the answer over here. Employee with ID one has three vacation days available. Okay, so as you can see, the end-to-end -end functionality is working fine. Okay, so me as a user, right, as an employee, I have triggered the uh, the action. Okay, I mean an agent that has invoked action group. Action group has invoked lambda function. Lambda has connected to the SQLite database and it fetched out the details. Okay. Let's run the next. Now let me know the last three months. Okay. It is giving some error because of some exception, but as you can see, at least the functionality is working fine. Okay. The error says event stream error. Okay. Your request didn't complete Lambda function ERN encountered a problem while well, there is some exception which is not handled properly. Okay. So it is re returning the response in chunks. Okay. So Remember, you will have to wait for a while. Okay, so as you can see, the question what we have asked is how much time off does employee two have? So it says employee two has seven vacation days available. Okay, now let's see reserve July 2024 through. So it's gonna insert an entry in the database. Okay, so. It is still working. So this is the get method, okay, where we are retrieving our leaves. This is gonna insert. So this is is a insert method. As you can see, I'm afraid I do not have enough information to reserve those vacation days. Could you please provide the employee ID of the person you want to reserve it? So as you can see, see since we have not provided any employee id it is not able to reserve so let's give it an employee id for employee id one all right i'll execute this now let's wait for the response okay it is giving some exception right now so I believe the error is because it is not able to correctly insert into the database. Now let's try this. So as you can see how many days does employee nine have? Okay. So it is returning all the lot of information. It is review, uh, returning the conversation history. It looks like there are some more tweaks that needs to be done in order to make this working correctly. Okay. But again, let me try to. I don't want to trace it. I just want the simple answer. Let me try this. How many days does employee nine have? So employee with ID nine is three days available. Okay. So let's again try to reserve it. Instead of that, one day 
please for employee one let's try this prompt of course there are some tweaks that needs to be done in order to improve this application moreover related to exception handling okay but we'll have to work in next versions as you can see it is now saying that check the lambda function log for more error okay so let's let's try to debug it let me walk through the lambda function and see what's wrong over there hang on so i made a small change in the application okay i mean in the lambda function after which it is kind of not throwing any exception the thing what i observed from the cloudwatch logs is for that particular lambda function the date format what we are passing over here and the way it was getting passed in the lambda function was not correct because of that an exception was throwing up okay so i made it change the lambda function to uh, with the correct date parse okay now as you can see it is showing this i'm sorry but based on our previous conversation uh, okay will exceed their available three days vacation leaves okay so as you can see it's not there let's change it to august one okay and give it a shot i think this employee record should have at least uh, one or two days of leaves the process is still running let's wait for a while the vacation time from through has been successfully reserved for him as you can see now it is inserting the correct data i'll show you how i traced this error and what was the fix so what i did is in order to trace this error i just looked into through these uh, cloudwatch logs for that particular lambda function and i found this exception as you can see it clearly states this particular date format is not correct okay so what i did is i navigated to lambda that particular lambda function okay under the code if you see the book leaves function okay and the way it was parsing the date was not correct so i made it to parse into the correct date format after which it is working fine so this is how i resolved this error i traced it in a similar way you can also uh, debug any issues related to lambda function if you're having so that's it for this session guys thanks for watching this video i will upload this notebook in the description you can download and work on it through thanks again see you in the next video do like and subscribe my channel